Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome to my reaction to Fairy Tale 100 Year Quest. I'm actually so confused right now because there are two cameras now. Even though they they both have the same angle, so there's no point. There's no point in having both. But they're both there now, so I actually don't know where to look. So stupid. <laughs> I'm going to be reacting to Fairy Tale 100 Year Quest. Episode 6 is called All's Well That Ends Well. Just a little update on last week's episode. I didn't post a reaction because I didn't really feel like it was... <sighs> the thing is, I had some internet issues and the electricity issues over the weekend. And then Mike couldn't edit one piece, so Hanku edited one piece, so he couldn't edit fairy tale. But then our electricity went off, so Mike ended up finishing one piece and it was like this whole thing. But in the end, I just decided it's fine. I don't have to edit fairy tale because it wasn't like the most... It was more of a, like a build-up, set-up kind of episode. But what I can do is I can post the Daily Motion link to last week's reaction in the pinned comment or... So then you can still watch my reaction to last week's episode if you want. And you can find the link in the description or pinned comment. But for today, here is my reaction to episode 6 of 100 Year Quest. Oh, bye, Panya! I was lurking for dinner. Now it's time for me to go. Hopefully, I can stay awake and come back later for Genshin. If not, oyasumi. Oh, and here's my tea. Thank you. Or should I say... Yeah. Okay, here we go. Onayami Rushi. Troubled Lucy. <laughs> this is one of honestly one of my favorite things since the beginning of Fairy Tale, how they always just make themselves at home at her house. A beat? Oh! Beat the giant ant eater for. Oh. <laughs> I really like that we can't see Hanka's face and his shirt says Gojo Satoru. <laughs> yeah, 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 actually, he is my husband, Gojo Satoru. <laughs> Wait, is this filler? Or like a side story? Oh, it's just like a mini... Okay, that's cute. This look like... This gave me this feeling like if if Blackbeard was blonde. <laughs> I like the opening song, but it's not super memorable. Like I won't remember it next season and think about it. Poor Suijin. Oh yeah, the the sea and the sky. Uh, Hono no Kefu. Hono no Kefu. Crazy. But he's being controlled by the white mage. Oh. It's so sad for me because he's gonna be so sad when he like comes to his senses and realize what he did. Ice! Ice! <laughs> Whoa! Wow. But it's not enough. Well, I mean, God roar water versus King roar fire.
Don't slip. Wow. But being this... <gasps> being this high is dangerous. I... I know that Cherry said that it's more like a brother-sister thing for her. But I don't remember ever watching Fairy Tale and seeing so many Lucy Grey moments. Like, there were some. And I know, okay, brother-sister type of... But still, I'm shocked. This season feels like it's... It's like teasing me! Mm. Exactly. What? Son of a freeze! <laughs> Sorry, that came out kind of funny. Uh oh. Where? Where to? Oh, so not so the god of fire dragon. He looks a lot like his his way of speaking sounds like Law or Levi. What? Yeah, doesn't he? Doesn't he? Right? Whoa, that line though. Yeah, I remember fire can turn water to steam. As long as the you just need a buffer. Well duh. Okay, excuse me, are you fucking Bakugo now? That laugh. Uh oh. Maybe it's bringing him to his senses. I was thinking the same thing, like, he extinguished the fire. Yeah, who you were crying about this like five minutes ago, but okay. Yeah, it's definitely Bakugo's voice. But he has a, he seems to have a very formal way of speaking, which reminded me of like, law or, but I think it's because he's a dragon god, so. No matter how incompatible they may be, there is such a thing as fire that can burn water. For you to become stronger. Oh, he wants to fight him, but not in this state. Like he's not strong enough. 
Son of Ignea. Whoa! What? He has the three earrings like Zoro! The son of Ignea, the fire dragon king. And the expression and the, one of the things that i love the most about fairy tale is that this was established from like the very first chapter your power increases with your emotions like there's a a strong theme for me here and um yeah it's just one of my favorite things in a lot of anime like a lot of anime has different power structures and forms and this and that and some of it takes a lot of influence from uh what is what's the word for fighting like you know like chi and the uh, kung fu not kung fu like uh there's a word for it martial arts so sorry a lot of shows and their powers take some influence from martial arts and real world concepts of of chi and stuff in our bodies qigong this and that and in the same way to me this has some in some link to real world power um i mean you've heard about crimes of passion and even like our emotions do give us a lot of power like if you feel things strongly when you feel strong love strong hate that is when we're at our when we can do the most and I've also said, like, in small ways, we can see it, like, let's say two people are running a marathon, and they both are exactly as fit. They both do the same training. They both have, uh, they can, they're both the same level of fit. And, uh, yeah. But let's say they're both right there by the end, and, and it's too much, it's too far. They can't keep going anymore. The one that will able to be go go that extra mile is the one who has a strong why like they're not just doing it to see how fit they are they're not just doing it like maybe they're they're doing it to win prize money to save their little sister from then she needs a, a medicine or something like if you have a stronger why if your emotions are stronger even if you're both the same level of power the same level of fit the one person with a stronger why a stronger reason stronger emotions they can push themselves further beyond their limit so in the real world that it, it has some influence for me too but this is yeah one of my favorite things about fairy tale and the fact that it was established from like chapter one is and it still keeps coming back this message i like that <laughs> Now I would love to see someone do some art where, you know, uh, like a standoff between Bakugo and the Wanderer. Wouldn't that be like so nice to see? See, this is why I wish I could draw because I want to draw that. But like more close with their faces. Ayo!
<laughs> Aww. Wow, cool visual. Kikusha. Wow. <laughs> this is there. This is peak fairy tale to me. There could be a bug like that. What does that mean? That eats flames. Oh, she! <laughs> Aww. Yay! My favorite line! Ah! The music! Whoa! Goosebump, I got goosebumps. Just the music and sing not so Wow He has feet? Oh. Poor Sui Jin, Sui Guy. I feel bad, but I know that he would prefer this to hurting. Burns out. Someone slap him! Slap some sense! Or put your boobs up against his back. So beautiful. Man, that was wild. Look at all the damage. Mm, so so nice at the end. But so sad, but so nice. But look how beautiful Lucy. When you said or flash some booba, I was thinking about the certain character who flashed their boob booty to stop a baddie. But I guess the flames were almost like overpowering even Natsu. Like his body wasn't able to handle that much power that fast. And then it influenced his mind. Like how we were just talking about crimes of passion and how you end up doing things that you don't necessarily mean to do. Or you even say things you don't mean to say when you're angry, you know, because your, your emotions take, can take over. Emotions are very powerful, especially I think the positive ones. But the negative ones can be very destructive, fear and anger. Um, but I think if it can just be understood controlled then it can be more it can fuel your power more 
The moon will be so full. The man wolf will turn back to a wolf again. I like how that was a My Hero Academia Dragon Ball collab joke over there. While we're watching Fairy Tale, it's like all the best coming together. <laughs> that was really, really good. The twist with Ig Ignia is his name. Ignia. <clears throat> Whoa, okay. Belongs to Cruel Legacy. I feel like he reminds me of another character a little bit. But yeah, really, really cool design. So since he already belongs to someone, even though he has my son's voice actor. <sighs> okay, let's... Hanku. Uh, Hanku. Hunter. <laughs> Sorry. He also uses the forward slash WA. And he has the similar name colors. <laughs> so I just went Hanku. <laughs> um, Hunter is just rolling and then I'm going to roll after Hunter. The hairstyle reminds me of someone as well. I think it's another fairy tale character. Um, hey, look who it is. The beautiful Shinobu. Come on, in a fairy tale video, give me a Natsu key. That's why I wanted Natsu. I want his key. Ah. We, that deep pitch in Bakugo's VA fits him perfectly. Yeah, and the, 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 like when he says, mm, that the roll, like is that the guttural, yeah. It was a very, very good choice for casting. Let's go over to, hey, it's Commander Red. Sotos, you should claim him. He's like your brother. You are equally short. I mean tall. Fairy tale, we watched episode five and six. This was six, yes. One Piece, we also watched episode 114 and 114. Five today looks like I didn't add them last week oh his voice actor isn't even listed yet how's that possible it's Bakugo how is it wait why are the voice actors not did they change it usually the voice actors are listed here like do you remember why did they change it how am I supposed to know who voices them now now it's just on this page that's a dumb change but look, they changed this so that the anime picture is now visible in the corner. When you're never, these pictures are way too tiny to see an anime visual. Why would you take away the VA's face from the character from... Okay, there it's back. What the hell? But then... How can you even tell? And each season is going to have a different picture. What are you going to use? The first season, the second season, the latest season? This is stupid. I can see the anime name right there. Why do I need the picture? The only place you need the picture is here. Ugh, I don't know why they changed it. Anyway, I just wanted to take a look at Bakugo's VA and get reminded. He's Ren Kaji from Windbreaker. I can tell because it says right there, Windbreaker. Um, he's this character from a Zom 100, Bucket List of the Dead. I didn't finish this and now I want to finish it for Bakugo. Yo, he does so many amazing characters. I heard a little bit of Isaac when he was laughing, for sure. This guy, Monthly Girls Nozaki-kun. I want to watch it also. Freaking Bakugo right there. AG Nizuma. Accelerator. He's done some iconic characters. I really want to see, though... That scene with Ignia and Natsu, like that intense moment between the two of them. I want to see it, but with Wanderer and Bakugo for some reason. <laughs> Why is the anime not under the pick of the character? Mm. Um, but anyway, I don't want to complain too much about something so silly. Let's score the episode. See, whenever an episode is lower than an 8, I usually don't think it's worth editing for a YouTube reaction. Uh, last week's episode for me, episode 5, was a 7 out of 10. It was good, but it was more like a build-up for this, for this week's episode. So I would say the story, very good, especially with the reveal and everything. Characters, 9. An unbiased 9. <laughs> Visuals, 9. Although there were some moments, it wasn't super consistent, but... Big parts of it was a 9 and other parts were 8. So I'm going to go with an 8.5. Audio, 9. Enjoyment slash investment, 8.9.
That gives us a total of 8.7 for this episode. Which you might as well round up to a 9. But I'll keep it as an 8.7 for now. That means my average score for the season so far would be an 8... We have an 8.4 and 8.5. What? Well, the first three was 8.4, 8.4, 8.4. Then an 8.5 for episode 4. A 7 for episode 5 and an 8.7 which is so far the best episode of the season, and the season gets an overall 8.2 so far. It's had a good build-up, relatively slow, but that's fine for fairy tale because it's like a lot of it focuses on some comedy, some, you know, light time just spending with the, the characters, and I guess we had a lot of focus on these dragon eaters, which I'm not 100% sold on. I'm sold on the concept of a dragon eater. I like the design of that girl. But the characters, they're... The skull guy and the other guy. and the, I'm not 100% sold on them as a group yet, if that makes sense. It's an 8.9 and not a 9 on enjoyment because of Grey's moves on Lucy. <laughs> well, it's not that Grey is even doing anything. He just keeps helping her, which is really sweet. And But it puts them in this in this light and I know Cherry sees it as like brother and sister but I just don't remember it happening so much <laughs> and I just want more Natsu and Lucy next to each other um Mulder says a 9.3 for you that is very fair to be honest not putting it as an overall 9 is hurting me but the characters and the audio Actually, even I could put story as an 8.5. Especially for the for the Ignea reveal. That's some I think that's some good writing because you know now that Ignea's gone, to bring this back and, and it makes so much sense. I could give it an 8.5. Yes, okay, that feels good. 8.5 and then an overall 8.8 .8 for the episode, which might as well round up to a 9. Soto says buck go out of 10. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't want the video to be too long because the last video that was too long got blocked on YouTube. Thanks. So I want to keep it short. Thank you for watching my reaction. I'm looking forward to next week. Please take a look in the description for last week's reaction if you still want to see it. Uh, Vasily says a 9 for me after Ignea introduction and then it was amazing. Bernard says sounds good. I say a 9 as well. Looking forward to next week can't wait to learn more like this feels this feels more and more like 100 year quest like it's not going to be 24 episodes it's not going to be 50 episodes like this can be this can go on and on and on it feels more like that's possible you know and you guys know i love the longer the better <laughs> see you next time bye